The next lesson is the law of the inner circle. There's a Harvard um, study that was done over 75 years. And the study says the quality of our life is based on the quality of our relationships. I need you to either be an asset in my life or a liability. Mm. So this is why this video strongly resonated with me. And I feel like it has given me the tools I need to even broaden my perspective or um, ability to grow and have a better team around me. Lifters, leaners, right? There's those that are diminishers. There's those that are illuminators, mm -hmm. right? There's those that take the air out of the whole room. And there's those when they walk in, the energy is up. Energy vampires. Yeah, That's right. what I call them. <laughs> yeah. That's <a> vampire. <laughs> the lifters. How, right? Let's talk about how are, how do you become a lifter? And embody that positivity and that light within yourself because I feel like what you're feeling inside or what you carry inside resonates on the outside as well. So it's very important that you know how to lift yourself. If you know how to do it, you're going to be able to help others to, to get up as well. Right, the relationships that we have in an organization, the definition of that is culture. What's the culture of that organization? How we act when we're in a setting together. It is more noble to give yourself completely to one individual than to labor diligently for the salvation of the masses by Dag Hammarskjöld. Yeah, and you can't help everyone because if they're not willing to learn and you're willing to give them the knowledge. And things are going to get hot in the kitchen. It's not okay to give up every time it gets hot in the kitchen. It, it requires us to stick with it. Stick with it. It's more noble to give yourself up completely to one individual. Yes, there will be problems, but I'm not gonna bail the first sign of a problem. I'm a, t I'm a team member. It's all about the team and I'm gonna do whatever the team needs for us to succeed. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. I'm not gonna keep aborting the mission and moving on to the next thing. I'm gonna stick with what this is and I'm gonna make the best of it. One of the things that I love about this lesson is the hold them accountable. So, it, it, it's we're a team right so but we have to assess each other too like to help each other grow you also have to have that uncomfortable conversation of hey look this is not going the, the this is not aligned to our goals so we need to do something about it and focus <laughs> on the solution right but to have that uncomfortable conversation with your inner circle to have that trust for me it's very important to help each other grow. I am really fortunate to have some leaders on the, on my team that do that regularly. And it's because of them that I think our teams do well. Camilla has some challenges. Tra for those of you that ever have ever trained, it is one of the most difficult po jobs possible. And just recently, she was telling the rest of us how she messed up uh, and how her attitude was causing the team not to learn as quickly as they could. And my favorite part, not only her saying that, but then she talked about what she was going to do, what adjustments she was going to make starting the very next day to fix it. And I love that. And she inspires, I know she inspires me, Ellie. And by the way, this isn't recorded, right? I don't want anybody to, <laughs> her to be able to use that, <laughs> use that in the future against me. There was once a long time ago when he told me, there's nothing you do that I, like there's no mistake you can do that I cannot fix. So I think that that sentence was really powerful for me because it really helped me explore my potential. So it's like, okay, I can I can try whatever I, I want to try uh, for to reach my goals as long as I have my goal in mind because he will cover like I I have that cover from above. Like if I am failing, like if I am falling, he will catch me. 
Kevin has made it and made it like that where <laughs> we could just come come to the group and we could just be honest whenever we're facing challenges whenever we mess up you know um like i tell the group and like when i first started negotiating sometimes i will mess up and i will just go to him and the first thing he will tell me he's like what do you need me to do it's oh i'm using problem. that against you this is recorded <laughs> i'm getting the recording i am snipping snipping this out of it daniel you are toast <laughs>